President Moise had been ruling Haiti by decree after legislative elections due in 2018 were delayed because of disputes. There had even been disputes about when his own term ends. Armed men reportedly entered his home in what is being called a well-coordinated commando-style operation. Claude Joseph, who has stepped into the political vacuum and is now acting as Prime Minister, has told news agencies the assassination was carried out by foreigners who spoke English and Spanish. A government video suggested that the gunmen got into Moise's home by claiming to be U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration or DEA agents. However, Ambassador to the U.S., Budget Edmund, told Reuters news agency, quote, no way there were DEA agents, end quote. Edmund expressed shock at the incident in an interview with the Associated Press. I did not expect that uh, that would happen because I spoke to the president on Monday. Uh, uh, I... I know he was in a very good spirit. He was really adamant to carry out his his policies, and uh, particularly the, the elections. The United States has also condemned the assassination. State Department spokesman Ned Price spoke with journalists on Wednesday. Those who seek to accomplish their political goals through violence and by subverting the rule of law will not succeed in thwarting the Haitian people and their desire for a better, for a brighter future. We urge Haitian authorities to bring those responsible to justice. The United States calls on all political parties, civil society groups, and stakeholders to echo what we've heard from acting Prime Minister Claude Joseph's call for calm. This is the latest in an almost uninterrupted string of crises for the French-speaking country, which had become the first black-led republic in 1804. The rule of the Duvaliers, Papa Doc and Baby Doc, and the tumult at the end of the reign of Jean-Bertrand Aristide are just two elements of that political maelstrom. And then there have been natural disasters in Haiti. I had reported from there over 11 years ago following the 2010 earthquake, which killed close to a quarter million people. Many Haitians have still not fully recovered from that crisis. A new crisis has now emerged in an already crisis-weary nation.